Hi, I'd like to share a little movement moment for you. It's osteoporosis safe, of course. We're going to come down in our safe way to the floor and come onto our back. So the strengthening the back side of the body is always really important and not just for osteoporosis, but for a really happy, healthy spine and low back in particular. And that's been my focus lately. So we're just gonna experiment with the bridge to start. Our heels are beneath our sitting bones. And we're just gonna open up at the hip crease where your pants would crease when you're seated. And we're not going to articulate, so not a rolling bridge. We're just going to open up at the hip flexors using our bottom to squeeze and push our hips up. So my ribs are gonna stay in my body. It's not a yoga bridge. I'm not doing any kind of extension in my thoracic spine, just bridging up like that. So that's four and I'm squeezing my bottom. That's the elevator, five and six and seven and eight. And stay up there for a moment. Let's put our hands just gently below our bottom just so we can feel what's happening. And we're gonna play with letting go of the muscles of our bottom on one side. So if I let go on my right side, let go of those muscles, my bottom sinks towards my hand on that side, but my left bottom stays where it is. Then I push through my heel, squeeze my bum, and I come back up. Now I'm going to drop letting go of my left bottom cheek muscles, and then push through my heel, squeeze that left cheek, and I come back up. So I just wanna notice if there's a difference in my ability to let go of that muscle on one side versus the other, is there a difference in my ability to squeeze that muscle? And can I do it without changing my waist? So I'm just dropping, I'm not cinching. So the distance between my hips and my ribs stays exactly the same. And then I come back down. Good, so now we just know a little something more about maybe one bun is going to need a little more work than the other. And we're going to play with that just a little bit more. So I'm going to think about lifting my left bottom. So I'm going to extend my right leg all the way long on the ground. Gently think about pressing my heel into the ground but I'm not really trying to activate this side. I'm going to now push through my left heel, squeeze my left bum, and then lift. So my right side may graze off the ground a teeny, but it's really my left side that I'm lifting. And I'll make this clear to you when I do the other side, but let's just keep going. Let's press. So this leg is active, my heel is flexed and I'm pressing my left bottom cheek to really lift from there. And my right hip lifts a little bit with that action. I'm not trying to keep it on the ground. I'm just trying to keep my right leg active. So I'm noticing as I do this that the muscles on the left side are tiring and that's what I want. And then I'm gonna drag my right heel in extend my left leg. So the first thing I do is I flex my left heel, gently press my left leg into the ground. And now you'll really see I'm going to push through my right heel, squeeze my right bottom and lift and come back down. So this is much higher than what it was before. So push, squeeze, lift. I'm maintaining the action in my left leg, but it's just to keep it awake. Push, squeeze, lift. Trying not to do it from my low back. Push, squeeze, lift. So you're taking time to actually feel yourself push down. Feel yourself squeeze your bottom and then lift. And you're just noticing, does one fatigue faster than the other? The one that fatigued faster, maybe we can do a couple extra reps on that side. 
Good. I'm going to do one more for good measure over here and hold because that's my weaker side. If your weaker side was the other side, then go ahead and just do a couple more over here. If it wasn't, no big deal. You don't have to do it. So at this point, you should probably be ready to go back to your two leg lift. So you're in a bridge. And now we're gonna really test out what's going on in those hips. I'm going to put my fists here. I'm going to lengthen out my right leg into the air, hoping that my bottom doesn't sink into my fist. So I'm using an exhale and drawing a marble up from my pubic bone behind my belly button to help stabilize my core. And then we'll test the other side. So the goal is that you're able to hold both cheeks from falling into your fists when you try a single leg bridge. So that's my backside strengthener for your movement moment.